Happy International Women's Day at last. Thanks very much, Anya. So we've got four questions we want to ask you. Um, the first one is, as a child, what did you want to be when you grew up? As a child, I wanted to be a naturalist. I wanted to be somebody who looked at plants and animals and thought about them and wrote about them and, and drew them especially. And then gradually I got interested in engineering and that's what I did in the first place. And then worked as an engineer for a few years, moved into business administration and then into the field of regulation. But all along the way, I think I found the stuff that I've done to be really, really interesting. And when you started working, what was the first thing you bought with your own money? Oh, well, the first thing I bought with my own money was a box of chocolates from my mother, uh, because the, this is my first job, which was when I was 15, and I got a summer job for the princely sum of £10 a week, back in the old days, working in a lino and carpet showroom up in Greenhouse in Walkenstown. Uh, I was possibly the worst file clerk ever, but people were very nice and very kind to me, made me feel very welcome. What advice would you give to young women who want to succeed in their career? Well, I'd say two things. First of all, do something that you find interesting. And I think that's a great thing about young people nowadays in general, that they really want to have meaning and value in their work. And I think that the work that we do here is great in that respect, because what we are doing is trying to make a difference to the lives of consumers every day in every way. So we have that um, moral or almost spiritual value. But I'd say give yourself an 80-20 rule. Spend 80% of your time and energy on the job itself, pursuing it, doing the best you can, but keep a part of your brain that's analysing what's going on, what works, what doesn't work, who do I see around the organisation that I see as being really effective, and what do they do, what could I learn from what they do. Even if you have a setback, I'd say, think about that, why did that happen? Don't, don't beat yourself up about it, but try to be analytical. So always have the main part of your time devoted to doing stuff that you really like doing, that you get a kick out of, but have this other part of your brain that's asking the questions and that's helping you to, to learn from experiences and to develop as you move along. Because it's International Women's Day, can you tell me what women inspire you and why? Well, the first woman I would refer to is uh, a botanist called Ellen Hutchins, who was uh, the first, one of the first female botanists in the world. She was Irish, she came from Cork, and she lived from 1785 to 1815, a short life, but never went to university, but got interested in the local plant life around Bantry Bay in West Cork, the flora, the fauna, especially small insignificant plants like seaweeds and mosses and lichens, produced beautiful, magnificent watercolour illustrations, corresponded with all the leading botanists of the day, had her work reproduced in um, the various books that were being produced at the time, um, died, as I say, tragically, tragically young. But I think because she did something that she really loved and that really inspired her, there's loads of plant species named after her. You'd see her illustrations in lots of books still. And, you know, I think a great inspiration.